Welcome back, my fellow fish heads, to another episode of Prophecy Fishing. I am Petey Prophets, and I will be your host today. Thank you for fishing with me. Today is Tuesday, October 19th. I plan on doing blackfish fishing today. I brought a bunch of shrimp. I have gulp and fish bites, but I plan on only using the, the shrimp. Actually, I have shrimp and like some squid and some other frozen seafood that I got at the supermarket. So I do have a purple haze tied on right now with some fish bites, but I'm only trolling over to um, the spots where I'll be black fishing. I don't plan on striper fishing today at all. So you can tell I have my dry suit on today and that might be a little bit premature, but I'm a guy, what can I say? These kind of things happen. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. I would really appreciate it if you could share this video with one of your friends somebody that you know who fishes especially if you know somebody who kayak fishes please share this video or one of my older videos with them and help me grow my youtube channel i really have a desire to continue to grow this channel and i, I know the potential i have and i know where one day i will get but it will be a lot easier to get there with your help so please do me a solid and share this video with uh, somebody that you know who fishes most fish that you're fishing for out in the sound or everywhere. A lot of fish are, they'll call, they're called structural fish. Even bluefish are out in the open a lot, but they tend to be towards structure. And the reason most fish are structural fish is because it's a safe haven. It's a place they can get away from sharks, bigger fish. You know, the, the smaller fish can get into nooks and crannies that the bigger fish can't get into. So it's just like a safe place to be instead of being out in the open because when a bigger fish comes around and you're out you're out in the open they have a bigger tail a bigger mouth they're going to catch up to you there's nowhere for you to go so that's why fish tend to be around structure and a lot of guys they get on their kayaks or boats and the first thing they do is they go out if you're going out you better know what's down there because there's structure out there but you have to know where it is and you could just look on um, i use the great depths app and that's great, it's like Google Maps for the water. It shows you the contour of the bottom. That's really all you need to know. If you're out in 40 feet of water, you're gonna look for anything that comes up. Sometimes it could only come up a few feet, five feet you know, shallower. So that little mountain right there, that structure, there could be little crevices there, or even if there's not crevices, that will be a place where you know striped bass might be, or uh, bluefish, but they'll, they'll be laying around the structure waiting for other fish to come by. So, tautog are the same way. They do roam around just like every other fish. Fish have tails and they swim. But um, if you if you have spots where you catch porgies, scut, you know, the white porgy, if you have places where you catch them, you better believe you can go there this time of year or early spring and catch blackfish in those same exact spots because those two fish are very similar. Porgy fishing and black fishing is essentially the same thing. It takes a little bit of time to figure out, but it's not a hard thing to do and it's a lot of fun. So uh, let's get down to it. I'm really excited about today. I, I love this type of fishing. Not that I don't love striper fishing, I do. I've just been doing this every day for, not every day, but every time I've come out, I've been trolling a tube and worm, the prophecy pipe. You know, I want to give it a little bit of a break, but if I run into a school of fish, that'll be cool too. So uh, I'm gonna go start on this point over here. I think it's around 25 feet, and drop some shrimp down. Let's see, let's see how it goes. First to tug. Probably around like 11. Did bring the net. Let me try to avoid using it. These guys went through three shrimp already for this one little fish. They're so slimy. Go, open your mouth. Eleven and 
switches. So that's why they're stealing, like, it's gotta be small fish. Stealing my shrimp. I think I figured out a way how to keep it on the hook pretty well. Hook the tail first. The water's still really warm. It was just really cold this morning. So I didn't want to freeze out here. That's why I got the dry suit on. Just trying to get another one. And it stayed on the hook pretty well. Go through the tail first. Even though it doesn't look that great. But for somehow they still ate the tail. And I got that one just on the meat. But they ripped the tail off somehow. I guess because it was a really small fish. Let's drop this down. Fighting really good. Really good. It's a porgy. Nice scut. Probably like 13. Definitely a nice scut. Yeah, it's a big boy. Nice scupper. You mother scupper. Just shy of 13. Oh, it's a black sea bass. It's a nice black sea bass. Damn. Pretty sure they're out of season now. Chumbo bass. How cool is that? Damn, I wish I caught you a friggin' month ago. Jumbo black sea bass. Probably like 15, 16. Not really a jumbo. Maybe he's a jumbo. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Nice fish. So good. I was like, damn, this is a nice black fish. Nice. Just 16. Second half is September to De September 1st to I think December 31st. So I could have kept that one. It's all right. If I get another one though, he's going in the cooler. Because I love black sea bass. I can safely say it is my favorite fish to eat out of the town. I like it better than food. So hopefully I get another one of those or even bigger. Because that guy put up a great fight and they are great table fare. Eat a snack real quick and hopefully get another one of those. That was really cool to see. I 
brush that a little bit. That's such a pain in the ass, man. That should, that should help. Oh my god, this, this fish is even smaller than that other one. Jeez. That is an infant. Infant blackfish. Yeah, it came right out that time. Tiny little female. Still fun though, still fun to catch fish. Definitely a better fish, but definitely not a keeper. I'm go with 12, 12 inch. Definitely so much heavier than those other ones. It's beauty. Oh, that looks in that lighting. Oh, I almost flipped over. Yeah, he's just about 12. Sick. Oh, it broke me off. Tug. Gulp sandworm. Not the one that broke me off. Definitely a little bit better. Out of me, dude. I jumped higher than the fish. There we go. A little over 12. Oyster toad. Oyster toad fish. That's so cool. Little one though. This is why I love bottom fishing. You never know what you're gonna get. I cannot get a grip of this fucking thing. things because they'll bite your fucking finger right off. Just gonna grab the hook. See Sayonara. They 
the pressure they bite down with, man, is stronger than any fish that I've ever seen in my life. I'm really scared to get my hand near that fucking thing. I'm much closer than I want to be. Spikes on there. Oh, this motherfucker, man. Come off. I was psyched to c catch you a minute ago. Now I can't get rid of you. that was. I'm scared to take the barb off though completely because then the shrimp will just slide right off. Catching fish. It's been out here probably like two hours. The wind's blowing, it's gonna be so hard to re anchor up if I go somewhere else. So I'm just gonna stay here and hopefully I get something bigger. This is much better. fish. It's probably only 15. Throwing my luck. I met him. He's on the safe side. out real quick. Nice to talk. He's only 15. But it's my first time seeing one this big since the spring. Goodbye, buddy. That makes me, uh, that made me very happy. You know, I'm not just catching 12 inch fish over here, but that was, that was fun. Didn't take any drag out and I made the drag really loose. But I'm gonna keep plucking away here. Eventually I'll get a big one. When you're on a spot, you're catching fish. Even though there's small fish, it doesn't always make sense to leave fish to go find bigger fish because there's a good chance that big fish are there, they're not feeding yet, or they're on their way because I keep putting more and more shrimp into the water. This 
one's firing really good. Feel that thing. Oh, it's a giant scuff. Damn, man. If I'm in it for the meat, this is all I need. This is like colossal. I mean, for not porgy fishing much this year, this is a big one for me. It's probably like 15. I just don't know if I want to got my fillet knife. I was planning on filleting up fish out here. If I go home, I don't think I'm going to want to do it at my house. This is a nice porgy. I screwed his mouth up. It's huge. It might be alright. His blood went right in my mouth. Hope he was clean. I kind of want to put down the underwater camera. I don't know because it's so windy. I don't know how it's going to look down there, but maybe in a little bit we'll give it a try. Probably two dozen uh, shrimp somewhere in that area, I would say. I was lost, and I'm trying to turn on the other camera. Turn the boat around. I'm still in the same spot. Trying to figure out. It took me a little bit trying to figure out where I was getting the bites at. I'm getting pretty much around the boat, but sometimes just the difference of two or three feet, I guess, is a spot some fish are, are willing to go and not willing to go. Because it kind of drops off a little bit over there. That is ridiculous, man. You can't be keeping a fish out of the water that long. And you could be killing them. Like, you could tell. If you watch my old videos, I, I never really use barbs. I am still using them on the, the tube and worm. Um, because I'm trying to break the world record, and I would be very upset if I do hook into a really, really big one. Because I lost a lot of big fish early in the year. You know, one, I was using circle hooks. And there's just a couple of times where I turned on the camera. I just, you know, gave him a little bit of slack. And there's one fish in particular that really sticks out. I fought this fish for like five, six minutes. Uh, at the beginning of the video, you can hear me say, he spooled me out. He fucking spooled me out. That fish, I think, when... Got spooled out and it just stopped. I think he was running, and I think that when it just stopped, that must have loosened it up in his mouth a little bit. And then he came off. He was probably like 10 yards from the boat, if that. He was right there. I couldn't see him, but I fought that fish for a long time. And I was watching that video a little while, you know, a few weeks ago, and I'm like, damn, I can't believe I lost that fish. That fish, you know, I don't know how big that fish was, but up a hell of a fight so he couldn't have, you know he's definitely over 40 inches but maybe he was a 50 inch class fish i don't know i hate losing fish i just crushed that bar completely uh, hopefully i don't lose all my bait now but it should be easier to release these fish in my last video i said i couldn't believe how many bergal were down at the bottom but if you look closely and now after catching a few black sea bass in a similar area I thought it while editing it, I was like, some of those look like baby black sea bass, and now I'm pretty sure they were. You could tell they have like a white spotting along their spine. 
and they just look different if you take a really close look at some of these really small fish. This blackfish was hungry. During the late spring and throughout the summer, I did some underwater filming and I spotted some blackfish and they'd be checking out my bait, but they weren't taking it. And if I moved it an inch, if I moved it just a little bit, it normally spooked them away during that time of the year. Right now, these guys must be very hungry because I'm bouncing this thing all over the place and this blackfish wanted it. the black sea bass. Do I take him home? Definitely a keeper. Almost 15. If I was gonna keep one, I'd rather I wouldn't want to keep a better one. This guy's they're kind of dark over here, but they normally get like a turquoise bluish type color. I think I'm in a good spot. I'm out on a point of an island. I'm not as deep as 
as I want it to be, but I know there's blackfish and stripers all along the slope of this island. Feel a bite. Drift is this strong. It's, um, oh my god, that's so small. That's what she said. That is good. Today, I think I've caught some of the smallest blackfish known to man. It's like a burgal, man. Tiny. His eyes all over the place. Dude, he thought. Seven and a half inches. That was a small blackfish. Seven and a half inches. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm going home. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I didn't do spectacular, but I didn't do bad. I had a good time. It was nice to see those black sea bass and the baby oyster toadfish on the patrol on the way back like I always do and uh, that's it thank you for watching please help me grow this channel and share with a friend and like I said in the last video that I'm probably going to take down if you can get me 5 new subscribers I'll send you a free prophecy pipe and I have either red rainbow Purple haze. Oh boy, you can have whatever the hell you want. Thank you for watching.